So hello guys and um, welcome back to our ninth video tutorial in C and we're going to talk about um, the second part of your if else statement. So um, guys bago dyan, uh, I would like to hingin ko po ang konting minuto nyo so may i-clarify lang po ako guys so I hope na sana patawad nyo ako <laughs> so ganun. Um, for example guys uh, maybe kasi nailalan nyo to yung previous lesson natin so I just thought na maybe kasi ang iba sa inyo ay ginawa tong integer at ginawa yung float yung data type kung saan sa store natin yung result so um, guys this is still wrong so because when we run it guys um, the answer is 0 0.000 so diba 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5 um, cause guys the value of the data type of our variable a is an integer so and also B. So when we are dividing integers and trying to store it in a data type of flow, so which is um, it's not a good programming practice. Kaya guys, um, just want to clear up na yun nga when you are expecting um, real numbers talaga as a result. So it's it's ano it's a good programming practice na gawin yun ang float ang mga variables niyo. So yun lang guys. Um, Delete ko na lang to guys. Yun lang po. And by the way, sa previous lesson na logical operators, um, I did not mean guys to say na um, for example like this, um, today is January 23, 2018 because the day I'm recording this video is January and 23, um, dog has 10 legs. So this statement guys is true and this statement is false. So, the answer we hear here will be guys is, of course, false. Because it's the AND operator. So, I did not mean guys po na when I said na the whole statement is false. Pati itong statement na to is false. What I mean guys is logically speaking, logically speaking, the whole statement is false. So, yun lang po guys. Um, Logically speaking yan naman. Nakalimutan kasi yung term na yun. So, yun po guys. Um, thank you guys for your for your time. So, let's talk about na the less than or equal and the greater than or equal. And some, um, the, what we call the nested nested if else. So, guys. um Wait lang guys. Um, can I check lang for can I check lang the lessons? So, guys, um, to kasi guys, um, I put this the lessons na gusto kong discuss. So, maybe, maybe may nakalimutan ako. So, ayan lang naman ba. Okay na pala. So, thank you guys. Um, for example, um, int A is equal to 1, um, int B is equal to 2. So, Gagamitin natin, let's make a basic um, um, basic use of this less than or equal. So, less than or equal muna tayo. So, if if A let's make this guys um, 10. Para mas ano. Wala lang guys. Para mas ano. So, if A is less than or equal to B print F yes, it is less than or equal to b um else excuse me oops so na kasi ako guys ng ganito so print f no yun lang guys ang label natin when nag false yung condition na para mas madali so ang ibig sabihin nito guys and remember the or operator that kahit ilang pa yun statement Tapos kahit almost halos lahat false, pero once na may true logically speaking, the whole statement will be true. So, yun po guys. So, ano nga bang ibig sabihin nito? So, let's take it, um, mano mano natin guys. Our A is 10 and our B is 2. Remember that. So, if A is less than or equal to to B. So, what does that mean? So, if you check nga, if A is equal is equal 
equal, I mean, is less than B or A is equal to B. So, guys, the OR operator, okay? So, A is less than B. So, is 10 less than 2? Tama ba yun? So, this is false. So, this the first statement is false. So, OR, tanda nyo guys, the OR operator. OR is A equal to B. So, is 10 equal to 2? O, equal ba sila guys? So, the statement, that second statement is false. So, false or false, it is false. Tama kayo guys. Logically speaking, the whole statement is false. So, when we run this guys, we are expecting this, this the condition here is false. So, we are expecting na dito siya pupunta sa else. So, when we run this, tiba pumunta siya sa no. Eh, paano kung gawin natin tong, natin tong 1? Gawin natin tong 1. So, let's manumanoin ulit natin para mas maintindihan nyo. Ayok guys, naiintindihan nyo ako ha? So, let's check ulit. If A is less than B, 1 is less than 2. So, what is that? Ano yan guys? 1 is less than 2? Ano ba yan? True. Kasi mas maliit ang 1 kaysa sa 2. Diba? Mas anong value niya? Or, 1 is, e is equal to 2. A is equal to 2. So, magka magkapareho ba guys ang um, 1 at saka 2? Of course, it's false. Pero, since we are using the or operator, true or false, it is true. Diba guys? Naintindihan nyo? Oops, why are people can control S? So, yun. When swing, so, Ano guys ang statement na to? It is, the condition here will be true. So, we are expecting na gagawin niya to. So, when we compile and run this, yes, it is less than or equal to B. Kasi guys, we are using the OR operator. Once, ang, kaila, ang isipin nyo na guys, when we say the OR operator is, when there are some state, where are there many statements kasi, um, once nag true ang isa, yun nga, true na, logically speaking, the whole statement is true. Kasi hindi naman, parang hindi naman kailangan na maging true lahat para maging true yung. Kasi nga guys, the meaning of the or, yung or, kasi parang pinipili mo na kahit alin sa isa, mag true lang. True na lahat. So, yun. And, parang kabalik na rin sa end, kasi parang yung meaning ng end, yung sa, in, sa English, the meaning of the word and is parang kailangan maging totoo lahat ng statement para maging yung buong statement maging true. So, I hope guys na naintindihan niya ako. So, yun. And, let's try naman the greater than. Pareho lang naman guys sa greater than. Sa ganito kasi or lang ang ginagamit na operator. So, let's done this. Then, let's make this guys 10 ulit. So, check natin. Let's check it again para mas mano nyo. Burahin ko na to. Then, in A is equal to 10 and in B is equal to 2. So, if A which is equal to 10 is greater than A is greater. Tanda nyo lang guys yung mga values sa A is greater than, greater than B or um, A is A greater than B or is A equal to B? Ang pagbasa nito guys is if A is greater than or equal to B. Greater than B or equal to B. Parehas lang naman. So, greater or A is equal to B. So, is 10 greater than B? Ano ba yun guys? It is true. Tama kayo. Or, is A equal to B? It is false. Hindi, hindi, naman, hindi naman 10 is 2. Magkaiba yan. So, they are not equal. So, this, state, this statement, uh, the part of this statement here is false. So, true or false, guys, it is what? True. So, it means that the whole statement, logically speaking, this statement is true. So, we are expecting, we are expecting that dito siya pupunta sa 
with movie printer. So when we run this, guys, yes, it is less than our bucket. Um, I, I'm sorry. Change lang natin. Hindi naman, guys. Important is label lang naman yan. So, that. Yes, it is greater than or equal to B. So, yun po, guys. Um, yun lang naman. So, um, let me talk talk you about the the nut. So, ito lang, guys. Basic lang. Basic. Kung ano nga ba yung nut. Di ba na discuss ko na yan sa inyo. Pero, tingnan nyo to kung anong epekto nito sa um, by the way guys, you can put um, parenthesis pa, para mas lalo ang, ang organize. So, it's up to you. What if kung, nag, kung maglagay ako dito ng not, yan. That, this is what you call guys, the not operator. Ito, ang tawag, exclamation point o exclamation point, not operator. Just the opposite guys, yung sabi ko sa inyo, pabalik taran. For example, uh, ulitin natin guys, ulitin natin ha. If not, not A is greater than or equal to B. So, ang pagbasa nyo is, check natin, is A greater than or is A greater than B? Then, is greater than 2? True. Or, equal to B. Then, is equal to 2? No. False. So, this whole statement, guys, is false. Right? This whole statement is false. So, true or false, I mean, this, I mean, guys, not the whole statement here. I mean, the, this statement is false. Sorry, guys, sorry. So, yun nga, alam natin na, nagawa na natin, this whole statement is true. Diba? Kasi, true or false, it is true. We know that the second statement is false, cause 10 is not equal to 2. So, true. Then, not. So, Parang guys, isipin nyo lang na not true. Kasi nga, this statement is true. Parang ganyan. Not true. Ano ba ang not true? Di ba? False. Sabi ko sa inyo, kabalik taraan. So, this whole na statement will be false. So, if false, siyempre, false ang condition na to. So, we are expecting na pupunta siya dito sa no. So, when we run this guys, Snow. Diba? Naintindihan nyo? I hope guys na naintindihan nyo ako. Um, kasi I'm trying naman my best to ano, explain it. So if you have question guys, kung medyo nalilito pa kayo. Um, for beginners talaga, uh, nakakalito talaga siya. Pero once na, sabi ko sa inyo guys, when you try to understand it talaga, practice makes perfect. Don't worry guys, may intindihan nyo yan. So, yun. Um, Let's, ano uh, natin to. You have for further question, guys, just comment down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And, and, dito tayo sa nested if else. Um, a quick discussion about that. Um, the last part. So, ano nga ba, guys, ang nested if else statements? Ang nested if else statements, guys, is you have, uh, sa if else mo, Sa loob nun, may if ka na naman, and sa loob na naman, may if. Parang ganito, guys. Um, um, declare tayo ng variable. Um, A is equal to 1. Dati lang, B is equal to 5. Gawin na natin 5. So, if, for example, nagiwa tayo, if is, A is greater than 5. Yan. Tapos, dito, may if ka na naman. May, may condition ka na naman. For example, if A is, B is greater than, for example, 100. Then, sa loob na naman, may if ka na naman. Nakakalito yan, guys, di ba? Pero, pwede yan. Um, there are some cases na pwede mong gamitin. There are some um, programming problems na ina-apply ang nested if-else. So, yun, guys. Um, nakakalito talaga siya kung manumanuin mong isolve. Pero, it is recommended na at least alam nyo kung paano. So, yun lang naman, guys. Di ba ang logic na if-else is once nag to, gagawin niya kung ano nasa loob nito, yung curl, nasa loob ng curly braces niya. So, gagawin niya kung anong code to. Then, hanggang sa mag to, gagawin niya to, and parang, it's what you call the, parang, ulit-ulit lang naman. So, yun po guys, uh, for example, ang gawa tayo, hanggang dito lang muna tayo sa dalawa. Dalawang, then, else, then, 
especially guys in other programming languages, especially in PHP. When I first experienced on PHP, nung gumagawa ng sa server, yan, may, I made some nested if-else doon kasi for when uploading profile pictures. So, yun guys, just wanna share it with you. So, for example, if A is greater than 5, this will be equal to false. Magpa-false yan kasi guys. Let's make this gawa tayo na magtutrue to para pumunta sa dito para makita nyo. So, if B is less than 100, yes. Print F B is less than 100. Print F. No. Second part. What I mean by second part, guys, is the second part of the if, if else. So, yun lang naman po, guys. Um, gawa tayo dito ng um, no. First part. So, yun po, guys. So, when we come, manumanoy natin, guys, para mas, ano, mas maintindihan nyo. So, check natin to If A is greater than 5. Our value of A is equal to 10. Greater than 5 ba siya? True. So, pupunta siya dito. I-execute niya kung ano nasa loob ng dalawang curly brace na to, Which is another if-else statement. So, i-check niya ulit. Um, if B is greater than I mean, less than 100. So, is 5 less than 100? True. So, pupunta siya na, i-execute na naman ang kung anong nasa loob nito. So, execute na to. B is less than me. So, we are expecting when uh, when we run this, ipiprint niya to. Then, what, what if guys kung nag-false to? So, hindi pupunta siya dito sa else part. So, and what if kung nag-false to, then pupunta siya dito sa sa else part niya. So, yun lang naman guys. Basic stuff. Um, kailangan nyo lang malaman yung basic stuff ka. Kasi, once, kaya nga guys, I try to make this um, as basic as possible. Kasi, when you learn this, the basics, yung part na, for example, ganito, else if, alam nyo na yan, when you make conditions like this, then, syempre, once na nag-true to, pupunta siya dito, then you make another else. So, once nag- false tong lahat, o kaya nag, ang false to, pupunta sa dito. ba? So, yun. Try to make things basic, guys, cause once you learn the basics, kayang-kaya nyo -kaya yan. Um, so, when we run this, oops, oops, ano yun? Wait, um, error, ah, print, oh, syntax error, guys. Um, C language does not know the word print. So, di ba? Dito siya pumunta sa part na to. Sa part na yan. Oops. B is less than 100. So, yun po guys. Um, thank you for watching this video tutorial. So, again guys, I hope na naintindihan nyo ako kasi it's a little bit tricky talaga pag in-explain nyo. In-explain ko pala through verbal and and yun. Thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and if may tanong po kayo, um, just comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks!